About uh, four months ago, I was approached by a couple of um, NRL um, development officers, Marky Bowen and Brad Drew, my ex-teammate, and they wanted to uh, have a coffee with me and, and discuss something. I said, okay, beautiful, there, shout. Um, and when I went there to have a chat with them, they basically said, how would I like to put my name to a competition? Um, which is after an after schools competition for under 14s, under 16s and opens. And um, I, I said, that's an honour, you know, especially being a Penrith boy. And it's the first competition that has been uh, played after after hours. So usually kids who um, play through school try and do it so they can get out of school work. But most kids who play after school are playing for the right reasons. We worked it out that quickly we got about 12, um, 12 schools involved. Um, and out of all the kids who are involved, maybe, and this is probably one of the most positive things, that 35% of these kids have never played rugby league before. But this is a competition that the boys who are playing have got to meet a criteria before they can play on a Wednesday after school. They've got to have three ticks next to their name in that week. They've got to be dressed well at school. They've got to teach, uh, treat their uh, teachers well. And they've got to tr treat their fellow uh, students well. If they, if they don't get three ticks, um, they don't play on the Wednesday. And the teachers have said overwhelmingly not just the rugby league aspect, but the way they, these kids have developed at school because of this competition um, has been unbelievable. And for me, that's, you know, a, boy, a rough and tough, tumble boy from Mount Druitt, um, that's kind of puts a full stop on why this competition is evolving. Yeah, it's been really good um, for all the experience just to play with our mates of the afternoons. Like, I don't play football myself, so it's been good to like meet MG and play here for the grand final and to have like heaps of our school kids come down and support us, it was great. I, I try to get to one game a week, uh, whether it be Wimberley or down Heaven or Windsor, or, um, and it's it culminated over eight weeks. It was, it was a competition. Last week we had the semi-finals. Today at Centibet Stadium, um, where I, the, explained to some of the blokes playing that um, you know a lot of good players have played on this ground and, and you should be proud that, that you've done it. Uh, oh, he came into our sheds before the game and had a chat to us and after the game we had a chat as well and it just gives good advice. Told us like to, we've been playing well all year and he just told us to keep the same, not do anything silly and oh, I was really nervous from being in the sheds and then coming out had the adrenaline was pumping. It, just a couple of touches of the ball that just settled that down. You know, I, I presented the trophies today with my name on it on the shield, and I know my brother-in-law Greg Alexander has um, a competition named after him in Penrith, and so does Roy Simmons. So if I'm mentioning the same sentence as M2 greats, um, I'm, I'm, I'm flattered unbelievably. He's a good bloke, like very easy to talk to, and gives good advice and that. So yeah, you know, being a mentor, it's kind of come. As, as just another bonus. I didn't really think to become a mentor when they put my name to it, but I found myself gravitating towards the teachers and the students and, and offering to help. And um, yeah, it's, 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 helped, it's, it's helped me as well. I had a teacher from Dunheaven come up to me last week and said, mate, you wouldn't believe how my kids have improved as kids, not as rugby league players, but as kids in the last two and a half months. And, you know, to me, that's the validation, that's all the validation you need for, you know, something like this. It's, it's great to have the name put, uh, put in the cup and hopefully when my grandkids will be playing for it one day. But the, the way that the teachers have embraced it um, overwhelmingly and I've got to, I've got to thank the uh, you know, Mark Bowen and Brad Drew from, from Panthers uh, Development who, who come up with the idea. Um, if it wasn't for them, it wouldn't have come to fruition, but it's been a sensational comp and it's, uh, I hope it's here for a long time to stay.